What's going on? It's Mando Crusader, and welcome to episode 4 of Darkest Dungeon. Last episode, we ventured for the first time into both the Code, 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 Cove, and the Weld, Weald, however you pronounce that. Um, we also caused most of our party to become extremely stressed, but, um, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this episode, um, I think we're gonna try to get to a boss fight in, uh, in the ruins. So, yeah, that, uh, that's, that's gonna be the mission for this episode. Uh, we have a couple of new heroes, or, that I really, really enjoy using. And we need to level them up anyway. We need to complete this quest in order to get to the boss. So we're gonna do that. And, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do for the episode. So, uh, before we get into that, I do want to mention that if you like this series, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Um, be sure to comment in the comments what you think of the series, any suggestions, what should we, uh, what should we do, how should we approach everything here, and, um, yeah. I think that's, uh, pretty sure that's all I have to say. Um... So, yeah, let's just jump into this. I'm actually, uh, super excited. A little too excited, almost. I'm, for I'm even forgetting what I normally say. <gasps> it's been a little bit since I've, uh, jumped into Darkest Dungeon. I've been focusing on grinding Magic the Gathering Arena recently. So, hopefully I haven't lost all of my touch. <laughs> So yeah, let's embark and uh, get this show on the road. All right, here we are. The fiends must be driven back, and what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Sounds like a plan. Lots of loot. Pretty straightforward dungeon, it seems. Um. Here, read this. Oh. A fortune right. waiting to be spent. And uh, read this too. All right, that went better than I thought it would. And in to this first battle. Now the major problem with um, the flagellant in the ruins is skeletons are obviously immune to bleed. So that is a little bit of a yikes. As the but falls, I'm sure the everything will work out just fine. Relatively straightforward, I would hope. Um, let's get a little healing on. And that should be Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. It, this one. Let's see if we can get an extra heal off here. And it looks like we can. So we can get two extra heals off. That 
is what I like to see. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And we got a bandage. Some money. What more could you ask for, really? I don't think you get tetanus from vapors. It's probably the rust. But, um... Ugh. That accuracy debuff, though. Oh, well, we'll get that healed up. Ugh. Oh, that could have gone better, couldn't it? <laughs> I suppose I used up all of our luck on those books. Leg grenade. Um, let's grab the rain of sorrows here. Get some more dots going. And now these back two will die instantly. There we go. This is how a life is taken. Ideally, I want this run to be as stress-free as possible. Because if we can make sure everyone isn't stressed, we can, uh, go through to the boss quicker. Resist the bleed that time. <laughs> Only five. I'm actually gonna be honest, this is going this is already going way better than I feared it may. <laughs> Let's just keep our grave robber nice and topped up. Press disadvantage. Kill the brawler. No quarter. Dodged it. Just keep stacking the dots. Since this defender is dead anyway, we get a couple of heals off on our flagellant. And finish that off. Ooh, vengeful boots. Let's take those. Also getting some really nice scouts as well in this run. A handsome reward Ooh. for a task well performed. Oh, this arbalist is, has been our guinea pig so far. May as well uh, keep using them. Stunstone. Getting some nice relics this run. Kill the bone tortures. Ooh, that's not good. That's actually really not good. Um. Hmm. Throw the daggers. Rain of Sorrows, the back row. I guess sniper shot this one. At least it will die. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Uh, I was really hoping to avoid that. 
the big stress bombs. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. You have to be kidding me. Crucial dodge. Let's start healing up the flagellant. The bone rabble will fall really, really quickly. I hope I can get a couple more heals off. That would be really nice. Yeah. Okay. And we get a little stress reduction as well from the crit. Remind oh. yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Well, there's the quest complete, technically. We, I suppose, could cut our losses? I'll just temporarily equip that relic. Um, but I want to see what's in the rest of this place. Now this is really nice. Because we get to use our dots to their full potential. Ah, that's a... That's an unfortunate miss. Start applying the dots. Now, this isn't the final... Now, I mentioned last time that, um... I really like the whole dot thing. And, um... There's a particular party composition that I tend to use. This isn't it. Um... Compassion is a rarity in the I tend to... Use Grave Robber, Flagellant, and then Jester and Vestal. I find that's a really, really nice party composition. Unless you just, like, need to hit something, like, in the face immediately. <laughs> so, that's sort of kind of what I'm building up for. Um, let's see, where do we want to, where do we want to drop, I guess the Jade, though I hate to do it. Um, who's our best trap disarm? I already know it's the Grave Robber. Um, right. Unlock that. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Ooh. Now it must be carried home. Guess we don't really need anti-venom. Not that there's anything that uses blight in the ruins here. Some more heirlooms, some busts. Pass the hunger check. In radiance, may we find really victory. easy battle right here.
Dead. Dead. And dead. This expedition at least promises success. Oh boy, this is such good loot. I really don't want to give anything up. Well, actually, I can, just, I can just equip that. I hope in this last path there aren't any uh, walls that we need to break down. Because I just got rid of all of our shovels. <laughs> Go, guinea pig. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. A trap. Watch your step. Of course, it's the arbalist. And all right. There's that done. Room by room. Hall by hall. We reclaim what is ours. So that's an actually a really nice amount of gold and an even better amount of heirlooms. And we even got quite a few relics as well. Really, really nice. Most importantly, our flagellant and grave robber are both up to level one. Ooh, that's actually super nice. All right, let's go back to the hamlet. And, uh... A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Huh. That's great. Um, we've unlocked the survivalist. Places, she is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. All right. Um, all right. We need to give the flash a little time off. All oh, right, right. The flagellant only uh can. Reduce stress in the penance hall. Additionally, we need to cure that tetanus. I don't suppose a jester's arrived. Now, uh, a few people I do want here, though. I really would like that he Helion. Um, so, what we need to do is we need to upgrade the hero barracks. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. And grab that. Okay. So. Let's organize our heroes here a bit. Um, right. Let's put these away and so there's the boss, the Necromancer Apprentice with the Leper Mask as a reward. It's actually pretty nice. Um, Sickening Satchel is also really, really nice. I think we're going to grab that, actually. Um, let's bring our Vestal in and our Crusader. We're going to do this one really quickly. By then, hopefully we won't have a lot of stress on the Vestal or the Grave Robber. Um, then we can go to the boss. 
probably in the next episode. Um, but maybe we can be able to get to it this episode. All right. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, foreign. All right, great start. <laughs> great start. Dodge the trap. Um, all right, this is a little bit of funky dungeon layout. We just need to explore what could possibly go wrong. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Right. Oh, of course, the tempting goblet on the grave robber. Get the blight. Okay, dead. Thank goodness. Um, let's just heal up our grave robber. Dodge that. Let's sell us accusation. Dodge again. A death. And I guess, I guess there's just some emboldening vapors. Don't really have much else to do. We're going to change up some of our abilities. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Um, before we face the boss. Because I know I'd really like my vessel to have the stun. Oh, we were surprised. Oh, that's really, really not good. Oh, thank goodness. That's a very, very clutch dodge right there. Um... Alright, let's start moving our Vestal back. Nice. Alright. One shot brawler. Ooh. Ah. That's, uh. That's very convenient. <laughs> the slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. That is certainly extremely convenient. Get the massive critical hit. Moves it back. Lots of stress. Stun. And we missed the smite as well. well at least we missed the at least the Defender missed the axe blade as well. Um, I guess start applying the dots. And perhaps healing a little bit. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, let's just start bursting down the uh, defender here. One HP. My goodness. At least we're gonna heal up a little bit. Take this opportunity to regroup, kind of. This is how a life is taken. Um. Oh, that was a waste of a key. 
I forget sometimes what Hats can and can't be, uh, are often what keys supplies. can and can't be used on. Also, let's... Let's make our party order correct before I forget. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. So, after that little side quest area, or not side quest area, after that little aside, the rest of this dungeon is pretty straightforward by the looks of it. Got some glittering loot. gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. And there's the locked case. I really wish that I had that extra key that I wasted by accident. But what can you do? Accidents Even the cold happen. Stone I seems bent on preventing passage. The oh match goodness, is the... struck. A blazing star is born. Light is just going down so quickly. Um, ooh, surprised again? Oh, hopefully we get to dodge this. Okay. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Um, let's just whack you upside the head, and we cannot attack again. <laughs> Why we're getting surprised each fight. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. What do we got on the bookshelves? On the map! Well, I guess we know where all of the curios are now. Also know where that where a trap is as well. Not a lot, really, coming from. Uh, thank you, Toru. Um, not a lot of loot in this dungeon so far. As the I light gains purchase, double -click the spirits there. are lifted, and purpose is made clear. We shouldn't uh, get surprised this time. Let's start the dots. A momentary party heal that will cover for the. Uh, the blanket fire. Um, let's try to stun the big guy. It did not work. Casual eight damage done by the dots there. Um, let's just smite. Only did eight damage, unfortunately. As the fiend falls, a 
this uh, the fusilier is dead. Thank goodness. Not a lot of bleed damage. Thankfully. Vigor is restored. And should be ah, uh, of course we don't get to uh kill the blood letter first. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Don't need holy water. Um. Alright, we are almost... Can I go through? Okay. We're almost out of here. I would like to continue adventuring. It's one more fight. Surely it can't be that bad. Surely. Um... All right. Well, it looks like we're doing this in a dim light. Oh, great. Well, at least they got surprised. Small, small advantages, I suppose. All right. Zealous accusation. Hopefully, our party doesn't get too messed up from this. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Abusive. Frustration and fury. More destructive than I'm sure we'll be fine. You just need to last literally like one combat round. There we go. Dead. Very, very dead. There. Thank you. Mm. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. A nice little bit of stress at the end was the great really bad, but to us. and we will find whatever secrets they hold. All right. Actual decent amount of money. It turns out. Uh, additionally, our Vestal is now level 2. Which... Is actually really nice. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Alright. So, that's gonna do it. For this episode, next episode, we take out our first boss, and I think we're going to make our preparations then. We're going to upgrade our armor and weapons a little bit. We're going to get the abilities I want for my, for the party here, and oh my goodness. Perfect timing. You'll be laughing still at the end. Perfect timing. Is the jester my preferred party composition for most bosses is complete. Oh yeah, that this necromancer is going down next episode. Um until then, remember if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Um, just leave a comment below. Do you think we're gonna be able to do this? 
I, I, I have full confidence. Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.